The call to high adventure strikes fire on the imagination of young America. Stuffy classrooms, books, and pencils are laid aside when the trail of his pioneer forebears beckons. The law of the scout is the law of the camp. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country and to obey the scout law. Hardly more than one hour from downtown Baltimore, the 20th century scout finds himself in the heart of the Susquehanna Hills, where the mighty Delawares once hunted, fished, and trapped. Nearly 2,000 acres of fields and woodlands dedicated forever as a memorial to the men and women who laid their lives on freedom's altar. A memorial vibrant with meaning and purpose where youth may gather strength for the tasks that lie ahead. How fitting that these beautiful hills should serve as a memorial to those who died to preserve them as the world's last fortress of freedom. In Bruning Lodge, the camp headquarters, the business of operating a tented city of nearly a thousand boys and men is handled by a staff of expert counselors. 30,000 gallons of pure water from artesian wells is distributed through nearly four miles of pipeline. As soon as funds are obtained, the water will be extended to the other side of the lake, where 500 additional boys may be accommodated. Warehousing the tents and equipment for a thousand campers is big business. Funds must be provided for enlarging the warehouse and purchasing added equipment so that no boy may be denied this important experience. Under the leadership of good man and true, more often than not, their own dads, the scouts, in happy camaraderie, unload for a week or two in the big open. Two weeks away from the concrete canyons of modern existence. Two weeks in God's great out of doors. The good that you are doing in establishing this camp will be multiplied many times over in the lives of these boys. The scoutmaster checks in. Scouts' names and camp location are placed in the active file. Portable equipment is issued and camper fees are collected. Scouts are people in Broad Creek and extreme care is used in accounting for all registered campers on a moment's notice. Dr. Hunt makes a daily call just to look things over at the Aaron Strauss Health Lodge and perhaps to treat a belly ache or threatened illness. Each camper is given a medical recheck to prevent the spread of contagion and local doctors are on call. The health of the campers is the number one consideration of the entire staff. Physical defects and organic impairments are reported promptly to parents who may have been unaware of the difficulty. Facilities at the health lodge must be doubled in order to care for the expanded camp population. A scout never gets hungry. He's hungry all the time. He has the job of building bone structure and muscle while he's burning up a lot of calories in the pursuit of happiness. Market lists, menus, recipes, and food preparation are all handled by the scouts under the watchful eye of the scoutmaster. The camp commissary is operated as a service to the troops that camp at Broad Creek. A stock of carefully selected groceries, meats, dairy products, and confections is maintained by the storekeeper so that once on the reservation, the leader need not make further trips to town. mother. That's him, all right. When he comes home, uh, you can swap stories on kitchen secrets. How do you make your cheese souffle, he'll be saying. Mighty appetizing. 
Hey, not so deep with the knife, son. Uh, you won't know whether you should cook the potatoes or the parings. Yes, the lake's right over the hill, but you'll be doing your swimming tomorrow. Three square meals is a daily minimum when you're camping. There are only seven troop kitchens and dining halls on the reservation. Twenty-five more are needed. What could be more pleasant? Chow time in the fresh country air. The Scoutmaster talks over the week's program with the program director to see what training opportunities are available. The camp monogram and achievement totems are hard to win, but good scouts always come through in fine shape. The stiffer the breeze, the taller the trees. Let's go. A knot for every purpose, hundreds of them. Individual counseling or in small groups give the instructor a chance to teach character as well as techniques. Nothing like the exchange of ideas to crystallize a boy's beliefs. If you want to cut wood, you must take time to sharpen the axe. Could he be getting ready for a boxing match, or does he really need that wood? Throw in another potato cookie, that scout's going to be hungry. Everybody talks about the weather, but nobody does anything about it. Pay attention, boys. In a few years, you might be making forecasts for the daily papers, and we want no mistakes. If you're a sailor or an airman, your life might even depend on it. A boy without a knife is half undressed. Here's a pastime that a fella can use from 9 to 90, and he won't need a caddy, an opponent, or a team to play it either. Something for mother or the girlfriend, and high grade too. Creative art, technical skills, and the use of tools are essential in the all-round growth of a boy. archery tackle and learning how to use it provides opportunity for another absorbing interest that a boy can carry with him through life. Here, nothing less than perfection will do. The right woods must be used for the bows and arrows. Tolerances must be worked out to the thousandth degree, or you'll be sorry when you're on the range. <laughs> This is the way it's done, my boy. Just a few to let you see. Bullseye! Near the center of the camp, and close to the parking lot and family picnic area, is the Nature Trail, established by the Garden Clubs of Harford County. It's an ideal stroll for mother and sis, and pretty far removed from the rugged trails where only the rougher half of humanity may venture. (laughs) 
Laid out in the figure eight and less than a mile in length, it is rapidly becoming one of the show places of the camp. President of the Baltimore Association of Commerce and a friend inspect the camp with the camp director. Looking across the Susquehanna from Old Baldy. A string of pack burrows is used for overnight hikes. Here the scouts learn to throw a diamond hitch and of course the fine art of getting along with certain animals that like to have their own way. Housekeeping on the trail is part of good scouting. A scout learns how to protect himself against the elements and live like a prince in the out of doors. Yep, the use and care of equipment is one thing for which scouts are noted the world over. The big swim is carefully supervised with all boys classified as non-swimmers, beginners, or swimmers. And the buddy system is used at all times. Scouts buddy up according to their swimming ability and place their tags together on the buddy board. Yes, and from then on, they are responsible for each other's safety. Body check is made, the pairs join hands until the all clear is sounded. Competent lifeguards and aquatics instructors trained at the Ship Scout Reservation at Mendham, New Jersey make full use of the 55-acre lake on beautiful Broad Creek. Two swimming areas are already provided, but another is urgently needed. Being at home in the water completely relaxed, having respect for it, but no fear, the beginner soon realizes it's the same stuff he's been drinking and washing with for years. First, a lesson in natural body buoyancy. Then, the 
the use of the kick with the help of the flutter board. Well, so far, so good. Some elementary diving, a couple of belly whoppers for good measure. Finally, the stroke and arm movements and, hey, look, Dad, I can swim. To qualify as a scout lifeguard, all forms of rescue and resuscitation must be mastered. of canoes and boats equip the young man for safe and happy living in the out of doors. The aquatic staff includes experts in all forms of water work. Counselors are trained by the American Red Cross and the Boy Scouts of America. 100 additional boats and canoes are needed. Handling boats and canoes should be a must for boys who are lucky enough to live in Maryland's beautiful tidewater country. But Baltimore Scouts have also explored the Potomac and Susquehanna after receiving training at Broad Creek. Here's a relay race to end all relays. Watch those swimmers tag the rowers. Now they're off for the paddlers waiting offshore in their canoes. Hey, look at that canoeist making for the beach. He's bringing her in. Touching the runner who then sprints to the finish line. Four sports in one race, swimming, rowing, paddling, and running. Shades of the 1956 Olympics. Aesop's fable comes to life, but uh, where's the hair? they go. In the right direction, we hope. The finish line is a circle. Look at number seven. Wow, what speed? What form? Did he make it? <laughs> this introduces a new form of reducing exercise. Fat folks use larger hoops, but the idea is the same. Just killing time while something more important is coming up. Hey, a ringer! Let's see what's cooking. Never a dull moment. It's very simple. All you do is climb to the top, just 18 feet. Then you come down, sort of careful like. Oh, not that way. That's called friction, son. I better give your attention to an expert. That's the way to do it. Stocked with 500 legal sized bass last year and more on the way. They're in there, son, but you've got to catch them. 
Why not tell Dad to come up and give you a lesson? Here below the dam is a favorite fishing place. As the sun slips down over the western hills, all campers line up for retreat, and old glory is tenderly folded and laid away for another night, reminding the scouts that they still live in the land of the free and the home of the brave. Duty to God, to country, and to self never gets very far from the mind of a scout. Scouting is for all boys. It does not teach religion, but it helps boys to be religious. It leaves religious instruction to parents and duly ordained authorities. Services of worship are held for Jewish, Protestant, and Catholic scouts, each worshiping God in the faith of his fathers and in keeping with the ideals and principles of scouting. A chapel for all faiths is included in the camp's master plan. A site overlooking the beautiful lake has been chosen where the chapel will be erected from the proceeds of the capital expense campaign. Boy Scouts of America maintain that no boy can grow into the best kind of citizenship without recognizing his obligation to God. The recognition of God as the ruling and leading power in the universe is necessary to the best type of citizenship and is wholesome in the education of the growing boy. No matter what the boy may be, Catholic or Protestant or Jew, this fundamental need of good citizenship should be kept before him. This young lad and millions like him are all we have to build that better society which all of us so fondly desire. Yes, here is the answer to unadjusted youth. Here is the only way we know to keep good boys from doing bad things. Here is community planning at its best. Here is a practical demonstration of what society can do in a positive, purposeful approach to the development of men of character trained for useful citizenship in a democracy that rises or falls on the kind of people in it. here is your opportunity to build a part of yourself into this great undertaking so that generations of boys yet unborn will someday rise up and call you blessed. On my honor, I will do my best. <laughs>